morning guys, it's Darla and baby Taylor. He is doing so good. So um, last week he was sick. He had, or he was starting to get better last week. He had RSV. Anyways, his appetite went like super way down and he wasn't really eating. Like for a week, he wasn't really eating. So finally, when he started to eat again, he didn't really want to be fed. He wasn't really into his purees that much anymore. So, but he would eat his puffs and crackers, no problem. So I was like, so maybe we're, you know, getting to where we want to feed ourselves. So I started offering him some soft foods and he ate it up. I gave him like some chicken and cheese and um, what else, grapes to start off with, ate all of it. He's been doing so good. And now this morning I gave him some eggs, bananas with hemp hearts, blueberries and strawberries. And y'all, he's gobbling all of this down. I'm like, look at this little boy's plate. <laughs> he's so cute so he is doing amazing eating so i'm really excited about that um so today plans i am going to once my husband gets home around like noon ish 12 30 um taylor should be down for his nap i'm gonna go shop and get a few fall things and i need to pick up a couple things from the store to make a fun fall recipe i'm gonna do like a balsamic chicken vinaigrette with some apples in it it looks really, really good. So I'm going to make that. And then once Taylor's up from his nap, we're going to go to a little pumpkin patch, get some pumpkins. No, I am so sore. I did a workout this morning and I've been doing better. I've been trying to make myself go back to my three days a week, um, working out. So I did that and I, my legs are on fire. So it's working. I just need to work on eating better, which I feel like I'm slowly doing baby steps. So Anyways, yeah, worked out this morning, got ready, and now we're over here playing. What you doing, buddy? You playing? So his new favorite thing that he has been doing is um, playing with his mat. He will roll it up and unroll it and crawl on it, and he just thinks it is so awesome. So that's nice. Hey buddies, what are you doing? Let's just see what we're doing. Yeah? Yes. What are we playing with today, buddy? What's on the agenda? Oh. Okay. That's fun. Hey, look. Wanna play with the blockies? Here. Wanna stack them? Oh. Wanna stack? Whoa. Is that fun? <gasps> Yay! Should we go for a walk? You think we should get changed and go for a walk? Yeah? Let's go get changed and go for a walk. We got a new stroller. Um, a walk, a jogger, it's the Jeep one. And it is a seriously really nice stroller at a really affordable price. I think it was like 169. I got it off of Target and it, I'll have to show you guys. It, it's just awesome, you'll, you'll have to see. Okay guys, we're outside and I just want to show you this jogger real quick. If he'll let me because he hates it if we stop moving. So let's see if I can show you guys real quick. Stopped. We're going to let mommy stop for a second. Alright, so this is our jogger. It's really, really cool. So I know buddy, it's only going to be for a quick second, I promise. Y'all look at the coverage that this gets. It's super awesome. I love it. Plus, it's got this flop window here so we can see. So, yeah, that's super cool. Anyways, let's continue our journey so we make this sweet boy happy. Off we go. Life. 
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm gonna play Let's go play Okay, let's see if I can sit you right here while I finish. What you think? Okay, so still in the process of cleaning. Just in case anybody was wondering why I have um, a huge love sack and a big playpen shoved right here up against the entertainment center. It's so I can keep him in this area nice and content. So, because most of the time he won't let me just put him in that anymore. So, and they don't make 20 foot long gates. So... This is um, my solution until he starts to climb over it and then um, that's that's gonna be fun, yeah. Would you guys believe that this guy's already hungry again? I mean, he's hungry, well screaming, and I gave him another strawberry and he's like immediately went for it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and give him his lunch. He's a little off schedule today because like I said earlier, he woke up three times and so his last time he woke up at six and I gave him that bottle I just let him sleep until he wanted to wake up because he slept so horribly so I, he didn't get up until like 8 40 so I, we're just kind of off schedule and I just am using since he slept so late I'm skipping that morning nap and we're just going to do hopefully a long afternoon nap we'll see what he does but I'm just trying to listen to his hunger cues and give him food and if he eats it I'm Assuming he's hungry. But anyway, so we're just having some good old shredded chicken and some cheese. He's happy now. Mm -hmm. So do y'all ever like forget an item on your grocery list at the store and then you're like, okay, let me just run back to the store and grab this one thing. And then you look in your fridge or your pantry or whatever and you're like, oh my God, I forgot this and I forgot that and I forgot this and then before you know it you have a legit whole grocery list to get and I'm like how did this happen anyways that's where we're at and <laughs> I bought this pie pumpkin y'all have never made pumpkin before can't make it today because my bread pan isn't coming in because I, I didn't know I didn't have a bread pan I thought I had bread pan turns out I don't so I, I bought this pie pumpkin and I also thought they were like the mini ones I'm I don't know and apparently so they're a good size in case anybody didn't know like I didn't um yeah so when that comes in we'll make some pie pumpkin he is loving his lunch so yeah just waiting on my husband to get home Y'all, it's so hard working opposite of each other, I swear, because we have like so much that we need to get done and tackle together when we are both off and it's just like impossible. And then we can't, we've, you really have to pick and choose what do you wanna do? Do you wanna do something fun? Do you want to get some work done around the house? Do you want to, uh, there's so many different things and we have only a half day on Tuesday really to actually accomplish those things. So it's just, it's very hard, but I mean, all in all, pros and cons, it does work the best for us at the moment. So that's just kind of where we're at with that. It just, yeah. it is hard. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. And then this week, like I'm on call for a 12 hour shift, which I would prefer if I had none, but whatever. Um, so that makes it even harder because if I'm gone like all day tomorrow, then whatever it is that I need to do with him, to, uh, my baby tomorrow, I've got to push that to Friday and then the stuff I normally do then gets piled up and then I work all weekend and then I don't like to have stuff roll over on my to-do list onto the next week because I already have stuff that week that I know that I typically do on a daily basis and things that I want to do extra, especially now that his birthday and, hol and holidays and all that kind of stuff are coming up and I'm slowly just kind of like preparing for little things like that and it's just... It definitely makes it a heck of a lot harder. Like throwing in one extra day 
of work when you're a nurse like does make a difference if you're a nurse you understand um anyways so that's just my little vent session <laughs> for today hey guys so i just got back from the store and i got a few um a well matching outfit for taylor's first birthday for mitchell and i and i think i'm not totally decided yet this you can't really see it that well i'm sorry but you kind of get the the hint because his birthday colors um his theme is going to be like the it's airplane so it's like sky blue um white and red and then i also got mitchell this pretty fall all right here we go How to keep the healing, keep the Other. So the only day we have off together is a half day on Tuesday. So I'm really hoping that they're open because everywhere else that I've looked at is basically closed on Tuesdays. And even this one farm is open every day except Tuesdays. So I'm really yeah, hoping that they're open because I really want to go do something fall like with the family. <laughs> so we're going to go see. Okay, guys, I have an idea. Since our first plan failed, remember these pie pumpkins I showed you guys earlier? That I thought, hey buddy, that I was going to make, that I still am gonna make pumpkin bread with, but I didn't have a bread Show them the mini truck, show them the mini truck. But anyways, I'm gonna have two uses for it now, because when my bread pan comes in, I'll be able to make the pumpkin bread. And now we can at least you know take some kind of silly pictures with what we have. And this is our insane um, mini truck vehicle. It's a mortise machine. It's um, pretty crazy. All right, we're going off on an adventure. Adventure. Oh, it is right now. Wow. It is dry. I need to mow it all again. I'm just glad it's winter time. Now I can stop mowing for the summer. All right, we're going to have One day you're going to be mowing all this, little man. That's right. Yes, you are. We got lots to mow. We're going to find some pretty trees to set right up here. camp. What you got there, buddy? It's a shifter. Yeah. You having fun? Okay guys, this is what we came up with, is our little pumpkins. pumpkins and, on the runway. Yeah, we've got some cute red, well red with <gasps> this. Oh my goodness. Coming back. And then we've got this handsome little dude right here, so yeah. Get my hood up. <laughs> He's so cute. He is getting hungry though, so. Oh. I don't know how long the longer we'll have with our little pumpkin pie packs. Oh my god, you I'm happy with that. So I'll throw in some pictures so you can guys see what kind of shots we got. 
Yep. But I'm so glad we at least got to do something, and I, I'm glad we have, a, you know, live on property where we time. can do stuff like this to make up for not being able to go no, to an know. area that has pumpkins. I don't know. It's nice, so I'm glad we at least had this plan B that was very last minute, but you know what? It works. We got some family time together. We got some cute pictures, and that's what matters. So. All right, guys, we made it back in. It's like, oh, it's only 4.23. I thought it was like 5 o'clock because this kid's acting so hungry. He's hungry. <laughs> and he's eating. I'm oh. hungry, too, so I'm going to get dinner. Okay. Stop. <laughs> but this is little man. And I'm heating up his little dinner here because our microwave doesn't work which really sucks y'all okay so let's y'all want to check on the see how we're should we should we do a sneak we peek should open it. Yeah, we should let's do it do how me open it for a sneak peek okay guys Ooh. how's it smell like it actually smells pretty good mm. smells pretty good no cap no cap, as the young kids say. No top. Let me tell you guys something right now. No cap. Absolutely legit. This is real life right here, right now. That balsamic vinaigrette chicken, mm, best thing you're ever going to have in your life. And if you haven't had it before, you should add some rosemary to it because rosemary is one of those things that just makes it so much better. Oh. How's dinner coming along, buddy? We've added avocado, because he's being picky, and banana, which he has already ate. Should we have more banana? Is that what we want today? All right, banana it is. Okay, uh, guys, this is what we're left with. So I kept offering him different foods, because he was actually being picky about his food, and I really don't want him to wake up hangry or anything, so I'm just trying to make sure he eats, and like, yeah. Days. Half of it's in the floor. So, you're so cute. So, we're gonna bathe because this little boy is so dirty. So, let's go ahead and do that. It's only 5.17. Hey, daddy. Did you have a bath with daddy? Yeah. Okay guys, so we're coming up on almost four hours. It's like 7, 10 now, we'll put it in close to 3.30. This is what it's looking like. We're going to do a taste test. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little out. Sorry if you hear my kid, I just put him down. And he always has a little fit beforehand. So, like I said, I'm gonna get a little bit of the juice. I want it to cool down and then I will let you guys know is how it soup? is. So it's not good? It's good. It's not something I would eat or make. I don't like balsamic. Okay, hang on, let me give it a try. All right, woman, lead person. How is it? Oh, this is real life. Wow. All right, give us your... No, real, it's really good. I love it. I think it's awesome. It has a really good sweet taste, but you can also taste a little bit of that balsamic vinaigrette, obviously, but like three quarters of cup in it. But, you know, it really does taste really good. You should just give it a try, especially if you're into like a balsamic type of a fall recipe. I think this is amazing. So, I don't know why he's here with the camera. Real life though, it's legit. You guys should definitely do us a favor, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the YouTube algorithm button. If there was a button, then there would be and you would know that there was because you'd have pressed it by now. So thank you for doing that. We appreciate you guys. Thanks guys. Mm. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Balsamic vinaigrette soup and baby formula. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>